All right, what's going on YouTube? Today we're doing some more engine work on the car. Well, not really engine work, it's more like brake work, I guess. I'm replacing the gasket on my brake booster uh, vacuum pump. It's right here in the front of the engine on my S4. Let me show you. So this right here is what we're working on. This is the brake booster vacuum pump. This uh, allows your brakes to apply the most amount of pressure, helps with stopping, all that type of stuff. And it's actually leaking oil. So right under there, there's a oil leak. So any long drives i think about 40 minutes of driving gonna have like a low oil light so it's leaking pretty bad so usually they replace like the whole vacuum pump which is like i think 200 i don't know how much labor will cost for that but it's pretty expensive so instead of replacing the whole pump i'm just gonna replace the seal and the gasket and then hopefully that will fix my issue all right so i'm filming this part after i completed the job so i can tell you exactly what you need for this whole install it's a pretty uh not complicated, just you need the right tools for it. So first thing you need is some gloves. It's pretty messy. Next you need is a T30 and a T25 Torx bit. The T30 will get the whole vacuum pump off and T25 will unscrew the back of it for the gaskets. Next you need your rebuild kit. You have the metal gasket. This goes in the front. Then you have your rubber seal. And then depending on which Audi you have, it'll be a smaller rubber seal or a bigger rubber seal. And I'll leak the correct um, kit to the three liter V6 supercharged V8 2011 Audi. I'll link in the description below. Next thing you need is some WD-40. This will help get a lot of these uh, hoses off. Next thing you need is some brake cleaner or some other type of cleaner. This will get all the gunk and stuff off. You definitely need this. Need your hose clamps right here. Definitely need some uh, cutters. This will break off the factory uh, hose clamp. Next thing you need is your ratchet, ratchet attachments. And I use some Allen wrenches to clean off the screws. Now, make sure you clean off the screws thoroughly. That way you don't strip them because they're full of grease and oil and they can easily be stripped because they're the T30 uh, Torx bit screws. So be cautious of that. Next thing you need is some towels. It's a very messy job. And of course, a mask using brake clean chemicals. Don't want to breathe any of that stuff in. And some Q-tips will also help you clean out the, the screws. And this is literally all you need right here. This will get the job done for you. So before I get into cleaning this off, let me show you what we're working with. So there's one Torx bit right there, T30. There's also one right there. And there's one right below it, I believe, at some sort of weird angle that I got fine. Now, besides those three screws, there's actually this hose right here that attaches to the vacuum pump. And these have to be kind of plied off, these hose clamps right here. Now, instead of buying these little bow tie hose clamps that kind of have to squeeze in, I just bought some regular old hose clamps, twist on hose clamps that should fit. So I'm gonna spray some brake clean all down in this area here and then see what we can do. I'm gonna just spray on a napkin instead and then wipe it up. And I just drove the car too, so it is pretty hot. You can see just how much oil and gunk there is down there. So unfortunately, this is at a terrible angle for me to cut. So instead of actually cutting this hose right here off, I'm going to unscrew the vacuum pump first so I can kind of angle it up. Maybe have a better chance at cutting that off right there. So we'll wait for that later. So we're going to take our T30 Torx bit. We're going to unscrew this one right here. And then there's two more, one, two below in this section right here. I'll show you after I take it out. So there's one screw right here, one screw below this top screw right there at the bottom, and then that first one we took out at the top right. And this is the orientation that it sits at. Comes out super easy. All right, so this is the second bolt that I'm showing you right here, and this one is completely filled with oil and a bunch of gunk. If you do not clean this out, you will end up stripping this bolt. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to clean this out. All right, so right here, I'm cleaning out the bottom and last one to pull out. So I have a Allen wrench attached, little tape to my finger. I'm just kind of cleaning it out like that. No worry about those motions, but still, it gets the job done. So you simply just reach down, find out where that plug is or where the um, screw is, clean out the head. And this will prevent you from like stripping the, the bolt and everything like that. So this is a must. This is very necessary.
All right, so we finally got all three bolts off and that takes a pretty decent amount of time. Make sure you go in there and clean out each of the, the bolts first before you attempt to actually take it out. You might end up stripping them. But next thing we're gonna do is just slide the vacuum pump right off and then try to end this so we can cut that little bow at the top for the hose. And then after that, just slides right on out. There we go. So just wiggle that off. I'm gonna angle this up and cut that little bow clamp right there at the top. So I'm try to angle this here a little bit more. Cut that. Make sure you try to avoid cutting the holes. So at this point, we couldn't get the clamp fully off, but we got it open just a little bit. So we put some WD-40 on it, and then that way we can kind of just wiggle it, the whole vacuum pump off. So as you see, this thing is completely caked over. So I'm gonna take this little uh, Allen, I'm gonna take this Allen wrench and just go ahead and clean all this grime off and not expose these bolts bottom left and right. All right, it is a brand new day. We are out here bright and early, eight o'clock in the morning. I had to go and buy a torque set. Uh, there's a bunch of other screws in here too, but guys, we're gonna be working on our Audi drummer cars. Just go ahead and buy a Torx bit set. You're gonna need all these at some point. So I went ahead and just bit the bullet and finally got the set so this should make things much easier uh, i cleaned off this as best as i can it's a lot to actually get off of here but i can finally get a t25 into these star screws right here so we're gonna go ahead and take off this cover here replace that gasket and then flip it over replace the seals and everything like that and then we should be good to go to put it back on the car so let's get into it and there's a tad bit of oil in here as well we're gonna dump that out all right, so this black ring right here is the seal that we have to remove. So I'm gonna take this Allen wrench right here so we can pick it up and try to get it up out of there. All right, so it looks like this kit does not include the rubber seal that goes at the back of the vacuum pump. So I'm gonna go ahead and seal this back up and place the two in the front and hopefully that will stop the leaking. But I'm pretty sure it's leaking from back here, but uh, that may do with it for now. So I'll link the, I'll link the correct uh, seal and gasket replacement for the three liter v6 but when you guys do this with the correct kit take this seal off at the back and replace it and then clean everything down also wipe down the back plate right here as well so i'm gonna go ahead and seal this back up all right so i'm gonna do here just take off this gasket and then replace it with this one right here essentially see if we can pry this off some way yep now this is for a three liter v6 and this one contains the gasket i believe the other vacuum pumps like a two liter 3.2 liter those all contain a smaller o-ring seal instead of the gasket so what i'm going to do now is just replace it with this one right here so i'm going to wipe down this area first because there's a bunch of gunk and stuff in the way this might cause an improper seal so i'm going to go ahead and clean this off real quick all right so i cleaned it down as best i could i didn't want to scratch too hard on the surface but this is all feeling pretty smooth so i'm gonna go ahead and lay the gasket on top of it all right so next thing i'm gonna do is clean off the surface right here where they meet together and we'll go ahead and take off that little hose clamp there slide everything back on tighten it down and we should be good to go and i do want to note that this actually rotates so we have to line these two little grooves up with the grooves that are inside this part right here so it might take a little bit of adjustment but we'll get it in there All right, so all the bolts are back inside. I got the vacuum pump angled properly. So this will take a little moment. Just keep working with it. It'll go in eventually. And I just hand tighten all the bolts in right here, here and below. I'm going with the wrench, tighten all this down and start our vacuum line right here. Put a whole thing on there and then start the car up and see how that goes. All right, so I got everything tightened down on the vacuum pump that is in there pretty solid. I'm gonna go ahead and attach the vacuum lines right here. This literally just slides on into place. So I'm just installing a regular daily little hose clamp with the regular twist on um, or screw on clamping method. So instead of the stylus on here before, it just makes things easier to remove later on as well. So let's go slide right on. 
All right, so it's been 32 hours and we're finally done with the surgery. So I'm gonna actually go ahead and link the correct uh, vacuum pump rebuild kit, link description below. Uh, so you can do like the back uh, rear seal. But besides that, the car is driving just fine. I don't see any leaks right now. No, nothing major is happening. So we're gonna see if I have any uh, low oil lights anytime soon. But so far it looks pretty good. It's on tight. The brakes work just fine. Uh, I'm not seeing any improvement or uh, unimprovement in the braking performance so that's good as well but all in all i think the job here is, is finished if you have any questions about the rebuild or any tools i use i'll link everything in the description below if you have any questions go ahead and leave them down in the comment section below i'll try to answer as fast as i can uh other than that thanks for watching